in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yermet, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is a Tuesday, the 28th of May, 2024, eighth week in ordinary time, and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Philip Madden celebrating his 40th birthday today from Deitza, Malawi, takes for us the first reading. Patricia Dodu from Port Harcourt, Nigeria, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Samuel Migap, celebrating his birthday today from the Diocese of Shendam, Nigeria. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in our devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. They prophesied the grace that was to be yours. So be sober, set your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. First Peter chapter 1 verse 10 to 16. Beloved, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired about the salvation of souls. They inquired what person or time was indicated by the Spirit of Christ within them when predicting the sufferings of Christ in the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were saving not themselves, but you, in the things which have now been announced to you by those who preached the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, get up your minds, be sober, set your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm is taken from Psalm 98, verse 1 to 2 AB, 3 C D to 4. Response is taken from Psalm 98, verse 2 A. And the response is The Lord has made known his salvation. 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 Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truths for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, break forth into joyous song, and sing out your praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Gospel Acclamation Matthew chapter 11 verse 25 Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 10, verses 28 to 31. At that time, Peter began to say to Jesus, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life but many that are first will be last and the last first the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ saint peter in the first reading of today encourages the believers to take control of anything that makes them stray from the path of God. He says, therefore, guard up your minds, be sober, meaning free your minds. I want to say it this way, free your minds. Release your mind from anything that is not in line with the will of God. Because that's exactly what happens to a child of God. A child of God is free. But that freedom does not come without a price. That freedom comes only after I have worked for it. I work for it by learning to control myself, by learning to reduce on exaggerations, on any addictions. Be sober. You are addicted to too much drinking. Learn to be sober and say, I'm not going this coming Friday. I'm not going to that club I go to every week such that even people know where to find me. Let people now find me in the adoration chapel this time. I'm trying to free myself. I'm trying to liberate myself to become a person God wants me to be. I won't go this week. I will go the other week. This week, I will go to the Adoration Chapel. I won't go next week. I will go after a month. For the coming three weeks, I will be going to the Adoration Chapel. I am trying to free myself from addictions. I'm trying to free myself from what controls me then I am beginning to be sober. I may find myself in a relationship that affects my own commitment to my spouse. I go there every weekend. I tell my spouse, I'm going this side, but I find myself somewhere else. I start controlling myself, freeing myself from such by saying, this week I won't go. I will be with my family. This week I am staying even when she insists that I should be there. No, I won't go because I want to be free. I am setting myself free from anything that makes me not to have a proper relationship with my family. Be sober, says St. Peter. The gospel passage of today is a continuation of yesterday. Jesus spoke about that rich young man and said it is very difficult for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Now Peter was listening to this and he turned to Jesus and said, what about us? We did just exactly what you require of us. We left everything and followed you. 
we learned to detach ourselves from earthly realities. Do we have any benefits? Oh yes, there are benefits. Plenty of them. There is no way you can detach yourself. You can free yourself without getting the benefits. <laughs> there are benefits. Jesus says, I tell you solemnly, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, friends, children or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not be repaid a hundred times over. We have benefits. And those benefits are felt right here on earth. And of course, even with persecutions, even with suffering attached to this, because there is no way you can let go of something without feeling the pain. There is that suffering. But you healed great fruits. Talk to those people who have been freed from these attachments. They are going to tell you how many benefits they have. They are going to tell you how free they feel to relate to everyone else. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Tuesday to you. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.